Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you could get paid every single month from owning quarterly paying dividend stocks. But before that, this video is brought to you by Weeble. If you sign up using the link down in the description, you'll get a free stock. And if you deposit $100, you'll get another free stock valued up to $1,400. I just opened up the free stock the other day that was worth $30. So if you want to grab those free stocks, click that link down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. So as you guys know, I like investing into monthly paying dividend stocks, but most of those are ETFs, but you have to pay someone the PE or order for them to manage that ETF. So they do take a little bit of your money off top. Now, if you wanted to invest into these growth companies that have amazing growth that also pays dividends, but they pay every three months quarterly, I'm going to show you how you can invest into different stocks to get paid every single month from quarterly paying dividend stocks. Now, the first way I'm going to bring you is the most ridiculous, crazy, highest paying yield dividend portfolio that will pay you out monthly that you can hold right now. These three companies are in the S&P 500 that has the highest dividend yield, but they are not the safest stocks at all. If we take a look at the 10 highest paying dividend stocks in the S&P 500, we have Macy's, OXY, APA, Kohl's, OKE, HP, SPG, SLB, IVZ, and CCL. Those are the top paying dividend stocks in the S&P 500. They are not the best stocks at all, but those are the highest ones with the highest yields. So in order to get the highest dividend yield from these quarterly paying dividend stocks, I'm going to put together a quick portfolio for you guys right quick so that you can see what kind of return you would get every month from these dividend stocks. Now I'm going to read off numbers one through 12. Those are going to represent the months of the year. So just follow along. You'll catch on pretty quickly. The first stock in portfolio number one is Macy's. It pays out a dividend yield of 22.81% and it pays out on the month of one, four, seven, and 10. Now the next two stocks on the list is OXY and APA, but those both pay out on one, four, seven, and 10. So I'm not gonna add those to this portfolio. The next one that pays out is OKE that we're gonna add in this portfolio. And it has a dividend yield of 12.69 and it pays out on the month of two, five, eight, and 11. And the next one on the list is KSS with a dividend yield of 12.81. This one pays out on the month of three, six, nine, and 12. Now with these three stocks combined, you're gonna get paid out every single month of the year from these three companies. So the grand total yield from holding these three companies is 16.1% zero percent 16.10 percent that is a very very high dividend yield all three of these companies are in the s p 500 and they all are quarterly paying dividend stocks and these are three that you can hold that will pay you out every single month of the year so let me just pull up uh macy's and these other companies right quick so i can show you guys exactly what i'm talking about all right, so here we are in Robinhood. I have Macy's pulled up. If we look at the five-year chart, they are down 90% over the last five years. So yes, that dividend yield is high, but are you willing to invest into Macy's that is down 90% over the last five years? If you think Macy's is gonna bounce back, go ahead and invest into this company. Get your 22% dividend yield every other uh, every quarterly month. But you know, I will wait until I can see Macy's recovery. But the way with online shopping is going is now, I, I don't see really Macy's recovering anytime soon unless they do something super special. The next one that was on that list was OKE. Let's pull that one up right quick. Now, over the last five years, OKE was doing pretty phenomenal. It was doing pretty good. Of course, the crash right here from the pandemic happened. But over the last five years, OKE was doing pretty darn on good with a, a dividend yield of over 12%. That would have been a good company to invest into a while back. You might could get in for still right now. It's not doing too bad. But OKE is inside of portfolio number one. And the last one was KSS. Let's pull that one up right quick. Now, over the last five years, KSS was doing okay, kind of going sideways, but it wasn't in an uptrend pattern. So, uh, 
Anything that's in the red, I'm not comfortable into investing into it unless they have an uptrend pattern over the last year or year and a half, two, three, four, five years. They have to have an uptrend, uptrend pattern in order for me to be comfortable into investing into these three companies. Now that was portfolio number one, the most risky portfolio of them all. I'm going to show you guys two other portfolios that is not risky at all or not as risky that has a pretty sweet dividend yield. They are quarterly paying dividend stocks and you will get paid out every single month from owning these three companies in your portfolio. Now portfolio number two with three stocks combined, they have a 4.5 dividend yield. So let me read off those inside of portfolio number two right quick. The first one is JP Morgan, ticker symbol JPM. It has a dividend yield of 3.62% and it pays out on one, four, seven, and 10. The next one is ticker symbol T, AT&T with a 6.93 dividend yield. This one pays out on 2, 5, 8, and 11. And the last one is Pepsi with a 2.99 dividend yield. This one pays out on 3, 6, 9, 12. So with all of those dividends combined, you are going to get paid every single month from one of these companies with a 4.5 dividend yield on the year. So Portfolio 2 is looking pretty sweet. Now I'm going to add in one more portfolio for you guys that stuck all the way to the end. Portfolio number 3. In portfolio number three, we have FedEx FDX. It has a dividend yield of 1.42%, and it pays out on the month of one, four, seven, and 10. The next one is Apple AAPL with a 0.74 dividend yield, and, and this one pays out on two, five, eight, and 11. And the last one is McDonald's, tickle symbol MCD. This one has a dividend yield of 2.44% and it pays out on 3, 6, 9, and 12. This portfolio combined has a 1.53% dividend yield so it's not bad you won't have to pay the etfs pe but um owning those three companies you will get paid every single month of the year from owning those three companies in portfolio number one two and r3 now if you wanted to boost number three um put dividend yield you could also add in waste management or home depot in order to boost it by just kicking out apple but you know apple is a pretty good growth company i could see them moving up after they do that 41 split in the near future. But yeah, guys, to sum up everything, if you're not interested in investing into ETFs, you can invest into individual quarterly paying dividend stocks to get paid every single month, okay? You don't have to invest into monthly dividend stocks in order to get paid every single month from dividends, okay, guys? So I'm just giving you different ways, different portfolios that you guys can pick up in order to have a monthly paying dividend portfolio with just three stocks. Now there are many different ways and many different combinations that you guys can put together. The highest combination that I could come up with was the S&P 500 top paying dividend stocks, which was around 16% dividend yield, which was dangerous. And the low one I ended up coming up with was the 1.53 dividend yield. I like portfolio number two. Leave a comment down in the comment section which portfolio would you invest into if you could, or make up your own portfolio in the comment section down below. And while you're down there in the comment section, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It only takes a second out of your day to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel a lot more than you can even imagine. So if you're down there, go ahead, take that half second, hit that click on that thumbs up button just to help me out just a little bit. And while you're down there, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.